All right, guys, so this is another video, and this is about a dream that I had. And, of course, I'm going to get interrupted a lot, so wait for it. Um, so this is about a, a dream that I have um, with El Negro Felipe. And I believe he's under, I believe he's a saint, or he used to be a general, as far as I'm concerned. And he helped um, with... Uh, during the time of slavery in Venezuela, if I'm not mistaken. They say that he was a real person um, and that uh, he's some sort, somehow associated with uh, Maria Leonza. Um, I have to research these things, but I just want to talk to you guys a little bit and maybe somebody out there knows what I'm talking about and would be able to tell me as to like why he contacted me so i had a dream and the dream was that i was bathing myself in a pool of blood literally and in the dream there was this man that doesn't look anything like the picture or pictures of um el negro felipe but he did tell me his name so that's the only reason why i know it's him so he um came into the bathroom where i was it was in a house and he's like, okay, so you want me to get your ex-boyfriend? And oh, God, oh. this is around the time where I was like still getting, you know, knowing things that I was going through or whatever. I mean, I'm going to make you guys stick with the situation. But hey, I mean, this is this is just the way it is. This is my story. It has everything to do with this piece of shit. So, um, El Negro Felipe. He came to me. He's like, okay, so this is what, what, what you're going to do. You're going to give me an offering um, if you want me to get your ex. And he owes you money. He owes you a lot of things that we're going to get him. I promise you we're going to get him. He's like, but don't forget to give me an offering. Um, but as he was sitting there telling me these things, he was telling me, he's like, you know what, but I'm a little concerned about you because... Um, he was talking to, to me about my uterus. He said, your uterus is so small and, and you get so pissed off. You're like a little firecracker, he was telling me. He said, you're like a little firecracker. Um, I don't understand what he meant by that. I still don't understand what the fuck he means by that. But I do not uh, joke, um, write down my dreams and vlog my dreams like I'm doing here. But I read that he... Um, has a lot of healing powers um, but I just wanted to make this short 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 little video so that somebody out there can tell me what their experiences um, have been working with him if you have worked with him you can comment below you can send me a private message um, because I'm not baptized in any of these things and these entities and spirits still communicate with me so that's why I'm always constantly always telling people you don't necessarily need to be baptized with anything because once you put yourself in a certain frequency or once you elevate yourself from one yourself not them but yourself to one frequency to the next you don't need to get baptized you'll you'll become a clairvoyance clairsentience a clair everything okay once you um elevate yourself from one place to the next um, with, of course, your experience in life, but they're your experience. And um, two videos from now. <laughs> so it's going to be like five videos, you guys, of me with the same thing on, just talking about stuff. I would explain to you guys what I mean when you elevate yourself as opposed to elevating, elevating the entity that you're baptized with. So, and all of these things I've learned via experience, other people um, getting healed in front of me, etc., etc. So, yes, um, El Negro Felipe. So I had that dream with him. And as I had the dream with him, I envisioned myself, as I always envision myself, in another dream. I was, like, healing people. I had a lot of herbs around me. And I'm, like, healing people. But he was telling me, he's, like, you know... Um, and he was, like, smoking a cigar. And he's, like, you know... Uh, but you need to stop being so like such a firecracker. Take care of your uterus. Take care of your uterus. Um, so I feel like um, it's either he was trying to alert me of a pregnancy, which I, I a few people around me got pregnant, or he was just trying to tell me about myself that 
it was something about me he wanted to heal or, or something about my reproductive system that he wanted to heal or protect. So um, I have yet to give him his offering because I'm not working with <laughs> I'm not working with him. Um, and not that I'm going to do things or waiting for things for him to get, do something for me or bring my ex-boyfriend back or do something like that for me for me to give him an offering. But I feel like... I have to be in a certain state of being um, to, to be able to, to meet with him again and meet him at the crossroads again. When I had the dream, I was in that state of being. And that state of being is a rebellion. That state of being was of chaos, of destruction. And so I was able to, I guess, penetrate in that frequency. So, yes, this is just basically a video of just trying to tell you guys a dream. And if anybody has contacted him or is baptized with him and wants to talk to me or is able to talk to me in regards to how to work with him and how to approach him outside of my dream where it's not them pulling me, pulling me into the subconscious or into the unknown to give me information. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>